Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Mankind Divided. Uh, starting where we left off in the previous episodes, uh, we hacked this hacker's guy's laptop over here, who apparently is um, trying to infiltrate the TF-29 systems, the Interpol agency that um, Jensen is working for. Which Jensen himself actually is also uh, infiltrating on behalf of the Juggernaut Collective, another hacker group. It's quite uh, complicated, but anyway, a little side mission. The TF-29 computers are being attacked by a kind of a hacker. We just looked into his laptop and we met up via a chat. We made an appointment with somebody in real life who is... Um, find the source of the hack. Some some is that, and there's also like this periodical, this magazine, a hacker magazine it looks to be, or some kind of um, an underground resistance magazine uh, called Some is that. So this is probably the uh, the owner. Find Some is that in Daphne district. Whoever has been digging into Pradovos, Pradovos is the cover, the name of the cover company. Um, around the corner in this street where we are now, where the TF-29 headquarter in Prague is located. Um, it's a member of Samistad, a rogue media outfit, holed up in the sewers in the Daphne district. The kind of people... Whoever has been digging into Paradovus is a member of Samistad, a rogue media outfit, holed up in the sewers in the Daphne district. The kind of people, kinds of people, who seem eager to expose whatever and whenever they can. If they know about TF-29's secret location, it may not be long before every terrorist in Europe does too. Peter Chang, our cybercrime specialist, says some local hackers been digging hacker apostrophe S. The apostrophe doesn't need to be there, right? Says some local hackers been a uh, hacker has been digging into Praha Dovos, the task force front company. If someone's out there trying to compromise TF29, it could undermine my own attempts to get answers. All right, so we need to go to the Daphne district. All right, somehow I cannot see the full uh, city map. So let's first get to street level. What's wrong with him? Let's see if we can hack these just for fun. I wonder whether those people will report it um, this seems to be a relatively easy one I could try and go for this data store let's do that as well anomaly detected very nice Trace program initiated access granted I think we added Credits. We have a little bit of credits. I think that came either from the data store, or you just always get some credits when you successfully hack. I don't know. All right. This one is also pretty easy. Just checking out a bit, maybe there's another data store around. No, that's a bummer. I was hoping for a data store. Maybe here? Nope. Access granted. 
Right, let's see what we have here. Ah, one of these. Always nice. For a little bit of... Um, Expose. Although, I, I, I really don't feel... I, I'm not sure whether I should be picking up everything I see lying around. Because it's of course from uh, of other people I'm trying to play as a good guy. Um, from even Purbill to even Purbill, Bridget Vank Cole, 33 Vlavny, Apartment 201, Doorlock 6864, 1133 into Prague, Booking Ref, DSET 44985. Alright, so this is an apartment in this uh, complex that I can enter, but yeah, let's do that later. Otherwise, I run the risk of doing all. I get totally sidetracked and never get um, towards the, uh, the progress done. And hopefully the game itself via side missions will direct me over here later on anyways. Right, a whole big weapon shipment. Alright, I will take that because a weapon shipment is probably from criminals. So, I don't feel too bad taking their stuff. where this leads to come on you can make that Jensen God damn it do I, I need a higher jump ability legs Enhanced jump hates. Right, but I don't have any praxis points. How many praxis points do I need? Leap to extraordinary hates. Zero praxis. Move silently. Yeah, I only need. I need two praxis. So what I could do is. Remove something else. The INL retinal prosthesis is the basic chassis for all optical augmentations and must be implanted in both eyes before further. More specialized devices can be purchased. The HUD projected by the prosthesis provides data on the user's medical condition, available equipment, wireless access to personal data storage, and direct audiovisual telecommunications, an optical membrane implant, and data frame for vision augmentations. This device is a micro thin base coating layered onto the inside of the human eye with a synthetic neural tissue spike connected to the optic nerve. It is capable of projecting digital information directly on the retina. Retina. Alright, this place the hut and augmented reality. Yeah, do I really need that? I cannot really disable this one, I guess. Ah, I cannot disable any, it seems. Why not? Not sure. What the hell? Why can't I freely 
play around with this. Right, I'm g quickly going to uh, Google that. Mankind divided swap out praxis points only once near the beginning of the game when you go see color and heal locks or experimental ox besides that nope cynically surprised that the option to respect wasn't a microtransaction all right so indeed um Weird, because indeed in Color's uh, apartment, I could just disable them and play around. That's not possible anymore. So, at one point that's quite nice, because otherwise I keep on moving it around probably. But I do would like that leg uh, thing. So, currently no way to get up there. Alright, whatever. It will probably get into an apartment or something. Yeah, it will probably get into that apartment over there, but we will see about that later. Let's first oh, hello. try and get to where we need to go, by the way. Let's uh, wipe our tricks. This is why I wanted to be a cop. <sighs> what is this? All right, Daphne District. Where is that? Red light, Dwali territory, red light district, plaza, courtyard, police checkpoints. Um, it's pretty nice. I really know this area quite well because I was there for quite a while and it's all it's so nice that it's not such a huge insurmountable map, but it's really again quality over quantity. You got the captain uh, running you raw as well? Alright. Why not? God damn it. Where is that? Daphne. Show in map. Ah, apparently, it's the sewers to the southeast. So, straight ahead to the left, and then, yeah, just follow the road to the left. Place time for the walk. And there's a better solution. Tube house. Very cool art design over here. Hello, Og. Everybody is really super dismissive towards Jensen. All right, Market Square, Monument Station, Palisade Station, Monument Station. Market Square. Two entrances. Vilepsen Prigotsen Pus. Skoro mi připadá, že jsme v chomoutu s Rusákama. Hm? Hezkej den. 
Doufám, že tady nehodláte páchat něco, co by všem zkazilo náladu. Aby bylo jasno, budeme vás sledovat. It's so tak cool that they have like also check people in, uh, in this area because it makes it check out these cockroaches. It makes it so much more believable that you are actually in Prague. And a very futuristic station. Pamatniku Preska Metro. Man, you can really lose yourself in this game, or at least I do. And in two days, I am off for not much going on. A little while. Really looking forward playing it without time constraints. We will never forget the lives lost during the Oak incident. 2027, Justina Fiala. Right, Daphne District straight ahead. Can we get through here? I quit, that's all. Nope. We do need to get there. Ah, there's a way over there. Ah, the police station attack as well. God damn it. So the station attack was not the only one. Really nice also that train that is speeding by regularly. It really f feels the, gives the ID that you're part of a bigger country. Blame the clunks. Well, we'll take care of it. Lagerburg. thing I find a bit annoying is that if I move Jensen a little bit if you look at that wheel the black parts of the shadows they really morph they get bigger more pronounced and less pronounced depending on whether he is still or moving something that is yeah also if you look at the shadows of the undergrowth Everything gets a bit glitchy if I'm moving, but whatever. Um, right, we have a door over there. Man, nice art design over here. Old weather check uh, posters. Why can't I open these up? I don't understand that. I would like to use them to drop bodies in, but... Alright, let's worry about that later. Once we actually need to hide the body. I tried it before and nothing really happened. Alright, I don't really see a... Underground entrance. Unless it's here. I don't see anything here. Except some breathing apparatuses. That's probably that neuropazine or something. Right. Yeah, I need to be 
the outer sides of the wall. So we can use this one. Ah, come on. You can make this jump, right? God damn it. I really need that enhanced jumping uh, ability. What's this? Then out of Reno. Better watch that one. Pretty cool bikes they have in 2029. 20, I work in a soup kitchen twice a month. I collect blankets. I donate to charities. I do enough already. Alright, one second. The robot within. The only thing I find a little bit out of place is the numbering on the each houses. They all have these blue blue little signs, and they're a little bit too clean, too clinical, too saturated compared to the rest of the world. Okay, here, for instance, here as well. Most houses have them. It's a little bit uh, too cartoony, if you ask me. Should have been a bit more desaturated and weathered. All right, here is the Daphne district. I assume that street means district. I'm not sure. Here again, one of those nameplates. Way too clean. Sorry, I cannot help. Lekarna. It's like a pharma uh, pharmacy. Alright, incipients. Of course, maybe a play on Inception. And then Otefreno. I'm not sure what that means, but that's the same as what was on that other window. Only here it's in um, mirror uh, writing. Um, yeah, it looks to be someone's name, and that would be weird if it's the same name. Unless it means every day 9 to 10. Unless it means opening hours. Then it could be that it's on this window and also that window. But then it's weird that Deno Otevreno is in Czech and every day below it is in English. So I do think it's a name. So it's just a duplicate um, texture used, I guess. Only a few. Which Most is fine, but... I suppose the police don't mind if they would... Nice coat! Uh, which is fine, but they're a little bit close together, so it's a little bit obvious. And pretty funny that she says nice coats, because she is herself wearing a black trench coat. Who would even listen to that crap? Man, there's a lot of police. Around. City has gone to hell. True. Haven't we got rid of them yet? The books, music. Alright, this is where we need to enter, I'm pretty sure. Let's 
to Monument Station. Alright. Let's check the map. Alright, 180. Yeah, goddammit, I have no idea where we need to go. Uh, over there, we need to get a little bit lower still. So, probably we need to take that ladder over there. But first, let's check out this little room over here. I don't have any breeding apparatus. I cannot really get down there. It does look quite tempting to hack that computer, but... Let's do that later on. Unless there's a way to turn off the fumes. Can quickly look around. Yeah, I cannot even make this jump probably without my jump announcements. It's really stupid that I didn't um, upgrade the jump augmentation. There is no such thing as free will. We are programmed from birth. Heredity, culture, background. I think we make choices, but even they are programmed. We think we can make choices, but if everything is predestined, do they even matter? Right, a lot of paint cans for graffiti, probably. Lady. Do not kill me. I have a family. Right. They are pretty scared. Stop the oppression. Talos Rucker. Don't let them tear us apart. Nice sandwich. At least looks like something like that. Please, just leave me alone. Pretty cool jeans. Man, pretty cool. These paintings and stuff, it really paints a picture that no pun intended, but that um, people really scurried away from their houses and took whatever they could of value, like classical paintings, and are now hiding down here in the sewers. It's pretty rough. Just looking what they're eating, like it's it's all kinds of different types of bread it seems. 
I thought it was meat on a bun, but that are just two pieces of uh, three pieces of bread. The one on top is merging, morphing into the others. I have to make some change. I'm telling you. Who the hell are you? Don't bother me. You sure it's not in your head, brother? Shh. Be, be, clack, clack, typing. Computers, don't you hear it? I don't hear anything. Shh. Just listen. I've seen them go in and out. My brother hears noises. Poor guy. Again, if I move, check out the painting, the, the painting frame. The color is just really, and I'm not sure what is the correct uh, way. The color changes when I move; it get, becomes darker compared to standing still. And I'm not sure what is the correct base case. Is that the darker? version or the lighter one Shh. Just listen. to monument station right what is this Yes, this is probably where we need to be. This is the ladder down. This is like a print or copy machine. This looks like some clandestine uh, printer publisher operation. Get the hell away from me. I do not have time to deal with you. All right, we need to get to the other side, apparently. Alright, I cannot jump high, but at least I have my arms upgraded, so we can move this aside. Hey, what's that? Water doesn't look too inviting. Alright, I'm just double checking what's here. Another newspaper. I guess we need to get in here. Also over here, these shadows, it really the, the color feels totally off. It really feels a bit glitchy, which is a shame because for the rest it looks so amazing. Ah, we already found the coat in that apartment apparently keep some is that from exposing tf29 whoever's um I'm on the inside trying to play the long game. I can't afford to have some rogue 
journalists getting in the way and making things complicated, not to mention risking the lives of the agents I work with. Some Stats need to forget whatever they think they know about Paradovos. I want facts. Pauls, what about you? I still think we should lead with Moonbase. He's right. Moonbase is sexy. Since when are we trying to be sexy? Do I look like Eliza Kazan to any of you? You no, absolutely do not. Deep breaths, people. Let's take a minute to think about who we are, what it is we're trying to accomplish here. Don't shoot! Shit. We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. The freedom of information is a collective right, man, and, the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Well, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types who walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an idea, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and bones over there becomes K. That's there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? You can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's that is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it, we get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes Media Network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. Ah, pretty cool guy, I must say. I need you to stop looking into Prahandovos. But not for the reason you assume. Relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. 
between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha the Rose and stay out of your way as long as you give us something back. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. Work together, intimidate, or persuade. Alright, let's persuade. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. All right, manic, paranoid, idealistic, subject's dedication to truth verges on obsession. His capacity for reasoning is sharp, though may fear towards the tendential, tendential or even wild. Fear and extreme mistrust of authority are likely to be well-founded, though further aggravated by a life lived in hiding. Alright, I am going to go with Beta. I think I sold that the most. Fair enough. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation anywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay. Maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's why you always said to keep digging. The truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Alright, it's again bad, uh, I think. Whatever the cost is at it. You want to be better than Pikes, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Braha the boss. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. Right, I just wanted to say it's nice that I was able to persuade him with that mini uh, game. But I also wanted to go with him hacking to Pikus. So I'm glad that we can still do that. Alright, what do you want to know about Pikus? I want skeletons. The kind that companies like Pikus come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archive. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talva, the Palisade CEO, she leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. Right, nice. Took care of Sam's dad. 
No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing. Alright, so in the next episode, we will be hitting uh, the Pikus or this, the Palisade Bank to uncover some dirt on Pikus. Uh, already uh, exceeded the 40 minute marker, so let's very quickly check out this area and then end the episodes. Diverse synergy, vibrant, bold, vision, decisive, focus, credible, ahead, pioneer, visionary, go-getter, imaginative, adaptable, experience, original, tenacious, out of the box, know-how, loyal, methodical, kinetic, questioning, proactive, god damn it. There are a lot of um, stickers. And here are the pictures of the TF29 uh, front company, Praha Dovos. Zinkava says counterculture patriots. Our mission? To inform people to offer an alternative to prices. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, anyways, this is Eliza Cassell reporting to you live. Uh, we'll be ending the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Made a little progress. I hope to see you in the next one. Continue the progress, and for the meantime, do not forget always to keep on gaming. See you later.